Once you've got to this stage with your box, your box has been sanded, you've waxed it, and you had the top cut off. So you've got the top and the bottom sanded already. We're now ready to go on to the next stage, which is fitting the hinges. I've put the box together, I've made sure that the two edges are flush. I've put about 30 centimetres of masking tape around just to hold the box together, to hold the lid on. I'm now going to place it in the vise and I'm going to measure 20 centimetres, uh, sorry, 2 centimetres in, that's 20 millimetres, each side from the edge and make a mark. I've measured in 2 centimetres there two centimetres there. I can now put it in the vise and I'm ready to put the hinge on. These are the small brass hinges and they're held on with these one centimetre brass pins. I'm going to put the hinge on and we're going to use this tool, a braddle, which is a small spiky tool. You can use that anything really to make a spike and we're just going to push the spike through the pin holes, the holes in the, um, make sure that's nice and secure in the vise, push it through the pin holes and into the wood. If you want to, you can just move the pin out and make a further hole. So you've made two small holes there, mark the other two, And then, now the holes we've made with the spike in here are going to be for us to start our pin off with. So we can put our pin in, just push it in, one, two, might be better to just put, put the two top ones in there, and we use a small pin hammer, this is a small hammer, we're going to use it just to very carefully. So you need to make sure you're holding the hammer like that, not too close to the end. And make sure your fingers are on there. That gives you the best control with the hammer. And just very carefully, drop the pins in. Then two more. Put the pins in the hole. Hammer. Very gently, just tap it in. It's important that your box is firmly held in the vise, but of course not too tight to actually damage the box. Now I'm going to take the second hinge, it goes with the wire hinge part on the outside. We'll line it up with the line that I've drawn earlier and make one, two, three, four holes and really then just increase the size of those holes make a good starting point for our pin four more brass pins them in the hole tap them in make a mistake, if you use a small screwdriver you can just lever it off, probably start again just inside there. So now I've put the eight pins in there, so four pins in there, four pins in there, you can see the marks there, at two centimetres, twenty millimetres in, and I can take my tape off now, and there's the box there. If I want to now, I can fit a hasp, and I can do that just by taking my piece of masking tape. I need to now mark the centre. So there's the centre there. I've just made a mark in the centre, and it's just the same process of putting the hasp on. I need the two pieces of the hasp. There's the 
the top and the bottom of the hasp. You position the bottom part of the hasp there, the top part of the hasp. Make sure the top part is on the top part of the box. The bottom part is on the bottom part of the box. A little bit fiddly. And again, make your holes. Making sure it's on the centre line. Make your holes through into the wood. Two more holes there and there. These holes are important to start the pins off and they give the pin just a little start and it stops the pin bending over. There's two pins in the top, two in the bottom, take our piece of tape off, the box is held closed and we undo the the hasp and there's the box finished.